The library has a new course resource and reserve system called Leganto. And the benefit of Leganto is that it connects directly with your Blackboard course site. So in the future, when you submit a course reserve or readings list to the library, you can do that directly through uh, your Blackboard page to Leganto. To set that up is very straightforward, and that's what we're going to cover in this video. So the first thing you need to do when you're in your Blackboard course site is just to add a tool link in the main menu. So I'm going to click on the plus button here and click on tool link. And the type of link I want to select in this case is course reserve list. And you can name that whatever you'd like for your menu. The last thing you have to do is check off available to users so that it ensures that students can actually uh, see this link and click it as well. So I now have a readings link that connects to the library's course reserve system in my Blackboard menu. When I click this link, it's going to ask me to launch the connection between Blackboard and Leganto. Once I've done that, you're going to get a brief introduction, but you will notice that you're still sitting within your Blackboard site. And what we're going to be asked to do is to create a new course. And what this essentially does is create the course that you're in on the library side. So you can see that it already populates your course name. You can set your course dates, the number of participants as well, and finally, which department. Once you've filled out that basic information, you can just hit Create, and that will initiate the connection between your Blackboard course and the library's course reserve system. Now, you have two options for uploading your resource or reading list now. The first and preferable option is to create it directly within Leganto. And there'll be a separate video that walks you through that process, but it's very straightforward and very helpful. The other way is to upload a citation list as a document, which is similar to what we did before. And we're still happy to do that and help you with that. Um, and this is just for the first time you're submitting a reading list for a class. Once that reading list has been submitted and we've created it, then all you'll have to do in the future is continue to use uh, the, the reading list within our new course resource system and you can update it and add readings there.